even without 9-11, wouldn't the United States have had to learn the hard lessons that we thought we had learned in Vietnam, that there are limits to conventional military superiority, especially in the age of globalization and nationalism, and that you simply cannot um, accomplish what some of these interventions suggested in all settings at all times. And so you ought to be very careful about undertaking them. 9-11 was the climax of Al-Qaeda's activities, not the beginning, but it was misinterpreted by most of the people right. in the political class as, as the beginning of the campaign. But it was the end of it, in fact. And, that, so, and they were very surprised by, by this event because it didn't fit with our various worldviews. And the kind of people who've been following this in more detail were less surprised. There mm -hmm. were, uh, we all know who they were. So it was kind of a category error, and they inflated it into the same, you know, Bush was talking about it, being bracketing it with the fight against fascism and communism, which didn't make any sense. We ran a piece that was very similar, uh, sort of a list of here's 10 things that are more significant uh, than September 11th that, that have happened in the last decade. And, you know, the rise of China, the rise of the rest and middle classes, uh, the emergence of social networking and sort of technological wiring of globalization uh, you know, we're, we're on that list. And, you know, if you take the really long view, it's, it's actually hard to argue that point.